All right, we are hooked up on another one here. Look at that. Man, is that just an awesome sight right there. That is just exactly what we're after. That is a tank. Are you happy? Yeah, my first fish. There we go. A phenomenal day out here. Look at that guy. Just every single one, super. Well, I suppose it's a good time to do the intro, huh? What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. And uh, it's kind of like late morning now. Got out here a little bit later than I wanted to, um, but I had to take care of some stuff at home. So sometimes you just gotta mow the lawn and uh, pick up the backyard and do things like that in order so you can go fishing the other uh, six and a half days of the week. But yeah, we're back with another video today. We're still up here in Northern Wisconsin. I'm waiting on some things to happen in a few days and then we're back on the road pretty much for a while and uh, another day up here the bite's just kind of what the bite is and uh, that's a lot of this stuff on these deep transition areas they've been biting spinners good they've been biting slow deaths good and uh, that's kind of what we're doing today we'll add a ton of information in throughout the way as far as kind of what we're doing and uh, the last video that we posted i think was a lot about these deep transitions how you can find them where they're located things like that and these fish are just loaded in these areas right now on a lot of different lakes and that's what we're going to target today we're going to fish one that i've fished before maybe a couple other that i haven't fished yet this year you know as the thing kind of as this bike kind of keeps going and going you know there's 30 spots like this that i fish a lot and uh, you just kind of progressively keep checking more and more of them but they're loaded on a few of them so my guess is most of them probably have some kind of fish on there but um, it's a beautiful sunny day contrary to the popular belief a lot of times the best walleye days especially when fish are out in deeper water high skies sunny nice wind we got both today so we should be able to catch some fish we're gonna get them encoded down right away it's just me and surly boy out here today what else sir there was something else we had to do something shelby said oh clothing i greatly appreciate all the clothing sales we'll just kind of throw up a little graphic right here um, of some of the more recent tom Boley ones we're working on hats the hat process takes longer than the shirt process so don't get too mad at me the hats are coming but i appreciate all the clothing sales and uh, you guys supporting this channel allowing me to what do what i do every day and hopefully i repay the favor to you guys so with that being said um we're gonna get some stuff down and uh see how the fish are biting here today i guess and uh hopefully catch some beautiful golden northern wisconsin walleyes let's get it going on fish on right there right away that is what i'm talking about feels like a good one too that did not take long surly boy there is just a pile of fish this has been a fun bite the last couple of times i've been out doing it because there's mainly been like nobody really dialing in on the area it seems like a lot of times when i film a video it's like i get it good for a day and then the weekend comes and then there's so many boats on whatever kind of thing I'm fishing and it almost just like kills the bite <laughs> but this one's been fun for a while now and it's only gonna get better and like I was saying we filmed a few different videos kind of doing this where we're out on these real deep transitions and uh, they're very they're tough spots to find if you're not used to it no way do we got another one going yeah we're doubled up right there that's what I'm talking about <laughs> that is what I'm talking about all right here's number one we're gonna land this guy doubled up Flying solo. We got the long rod here. Might just grab this guy quick. There we go. All in number one. They are just pounding these slow death rigs. Oh man, that rod, rod's really giving her. We'll make this quick. Look at that right there. Beautiful walleye to get things going. About an 18 incher. Let that guy go. And we'll just catch the other one. Now we only got one rod left. And that would be something if we hooked up on that one too, wouldn't it? We're getting it done, surly boy, we're getting it done. And especially when I got to run like real, oh boy, we might've just done some bad things to ourselves. Especially when I got to run like this real tight pinpointed transition. I almost, especially when I'm by myself, I like doing it with just three down rods as opposed to, you know, maybe if I had a few other people with it around a big spread of planer boards and stuff, but fishing this way, just hugging these zones real tight. You know, you might think and look like Oh, and you got 10 planer boards out, you know, you're probably three times as effective. Well, the reality is, is that uh, sometimes just hugging structure very tight or hugging, keeping everything, keeping a lot of baits right where the fish are 
can sometimes kind of be the key. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, another real nice fish right there. That is what we are after. Always good to start the day with a double, not gonna complain about that. Kinda didn't really know what to film today. And because uh, the bite's kinda been so one-sided in, in my area. And uh, I'm kinda waiting on a couple of bigger trips we got planned in the near future. So in the meantime, I guess we'll just kinda keep beating up on them here, huh? I think that is gonna kinda be the plan. Oh yeah, he's already, already off in the net and that is just exactly what we're after right there. Beautiful golden northern wisconsin walleyes real stocky about 20 inch right there awesome awesome gold color we'll let that guy go and hopefully catch just a pile more fish today we gotta get some lines back in the water though oh yeah he's angry he's in good shape let's do it again buddy let's do it again up right there outside rod it's kind of a weird bite it just kind of was like ding 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 almost like a bluegill bite and then all of a sudden it became an actual fish and we are going through some right now i would not be surprised at all if we double up here in a second this kind of seems to be the sweet spot here feels not too shabby if there is one rod that has just grown on me over the course of time which I've been using it, it's this 11 and a half footer. It is just so awesome for using as a long rod like this on the outside. And it just fights fish just very, very well. This guy's like coming up to the side here, so we might just uh, catch him right back right on the side of the boat here. And it's like it's impossible to lose him on this rod. It's got so much play. It's a great lead core rod. It's a great long outside board rod and big win. And it's awesome for kind of running like this when you're running a bunch of rods and stacking them up. We got a net one, surly boy. We got a net of fish. There we go. The only thing with it is getting them to you when you're by yourself, but there we go. Oh, might just flip them on in here. There we go. Another nice walleye to get things going today. Well, I thought we were gonna double there. We only ended up getting one, but one is better than none. And it might just be tweaking the spread a little bit, seeing what kind of blades and whatnot they're biting today. So far, both fish have come on slow death, one on a smiley blade, and one on a uh, bigger thumper purple blade. That one was not gonna come off right there. We got him good, there we go. Northern Wisco eaters, the most treasured fish in the lake. <laughs> and we're gonna let them all go. Some of you guys probably think I'm just harping way too much on catch and release, but incredibly important, the amount of pressure that's on a lot of these, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 500 acre lakes. Um, it's just too much pressure. And probably the same goes for bigger lakes too, but it's just never been more important than it is right now to let those fish go. I feel like some people's success is literally dictated on if they limit out or not and uh letting fish go is just it's never been more important right now no matter it's all i, I almost look at it as it's more up to us to do the right thing than it is up to you know whatever that sign says at the bowling and how many fish you can keep and this and that what the dnr does is always going to lag several years behind i think what the lake's actually doing so you know letting these fish go making sure that we're doing our part to catch more walleyes next year is super super important and we're this is kind of the rig i'm running here slow death smiley simple sometimes simple is better and uh, that is just 100 percent the case a lot of times this time of year try to over complicate stuff get so many different bead combinations big blade combinations when a lot of the times the key is just one slow death hook oh we are uh, snagged up on this one i just went through a rock patch because i wasn't paying attention to what i was doing shelby would be yelling at me there he goes just came out but uh, we're going through another patch here. And basically when you're running these slow deaths, some of them I'll run like a snap swivel up on top of them. I gotta speed us up a little bit here. Thread that crawler on awkwardly far onto the hook. I like to go just like that right there. And then what I'll do is I will uh, thread it up over the knot so it looks something like that. 
and then generally I'll pinch just like the tail of that crawler off. And if you take it and come back over the hook once like this, it'll really spin that thing up good. So when it's moving, it really, really spins a lot. And that uh, seems to help as well, obviously. Right there. It feels good too, real good. I actually just had one rod that just wasn't catching fish. I swapped it out to a, a different blade and immediately went off. Now is that a pattern or a fluke? Well, I don't know, you tell me. That will be decided as the day goes on. But this is certainly a nice fish right here. Really, it was really head shaking hard. And yes, I was slacking on my phone when that fish bit. We're gonna take our time with this one. This feels uh, better than most, I would say. Real good fish here. We've kind of drawn a crowd, which seems to kind of happen on these smaller lakes that I fish a lot. When we start getting them. Or sometimes even when we're not getting them, surly boy, it seems to attract a crowd. Oh yeah, real nice walleye here. All I can see is the color, but I can tell it's longer than the others. Surly, he's gonna come up right next to you, buddy. Oh yeah, really nice fish, really, really nice fish. Oh, scary, scary. Surly, we need our net, buddy. This is, a, this is one we definitely wanna catch here. This is one we definitely want to catch. Man, he is just really giving her too. I'm gonna fold my rod down. All right, buddy. He's coming up, he's coming up. Look at that, I don't know if you guys can see that. Super, super nice fish right here. He is really fighting hard. Got him, there we go, buddy. There we go, Surly. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I gotta get back. Where are we going? We're perfectly on course. Man, is that a long golden one right there? That is just, oh, oh, oh. Little spinner blade, a little slow death, barely hooked on the bottom jaw. That's why you wanna take your time a lot of times with these. And look at that right there. That is just a beautiful fish right there. Super thick, super healthy. And uh, Northern Wisconsin walleye. We're gonna let that guy go. That is too awesome. That's about as clean as they get right there. We'll take them like that just all day long. Let's let that guy go. Look at that, just beautiful, beautiful walleye. Back to the depths, paddling away strong. We'll take it, we'll take it. Right there, just let that other one go. All right, oh, we are hooked up again here. Just let that last fish go. It was literally just, uh, rebaiting uh, from the last, that real nice one we caught. I'm not gonna lie, this one's feeling good too. This is on the other extreme. This is on a five foot inside rod. So the fight is very different. You gotta kinda keep them a little bit more taut on this rod. He's coming in deep though, sir. Boy, he's coming in real deep, buddy. He's coming in real nice and deep, which is good. Whenever you're trolling walleyes and you're fighting them and they're closer to the boat and they're still straight down. That's just exactly what you want. Man, dude, we are in some nice ones, I think, all of a sudden. Slow and steady here. This is feeling real promising. It's making a run. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Whoever says walleyes don't fight is just, I don't know if they ever caught like decent walleyes. Yeah, I'm just starting to see them down there. No, oh, yeah, it's another really nice one here. It's like a cookie cutter to the last one. Head down, buddy, head down. Maybe just a touch smaller. Oh man, that is why I like clear water right there. Being able to watch these guys down there. He's not quite as big. He's just really pulling hard. There we go. There's another nice one right there. That is what I'm talking about. We got just boats all around kind of watching us catch these fish right now. But what are you going to do, right? Fishing's fishing. There we go. 
See, now that one bit a bigger blade again. So I guess the pattern is just just continue to put it front of, in front of them and good things will happen. Seems to be the pattern of the day today. Went fishing for about, I don't know, half an hour now. Look at that, we got one rod left in the water. Catching a ton of these late summer deep water walleyes. Does not get much better than that right there. We'll keep doing it till they're not biting, surly boy. What do you think? You wanna watch them go back? All right, here he goes. Nice and healthy. Back to the depths. Right there. Hooked up. That one hit real hard. Just saw a pot of fish deeper than what I was at, and I just dropped this one down deep. And immediately, and that one cranked it. It's not even doing anything, which leads me to believe it's probably going to be big. I'm talking really quiet because there's a boat right next to me here. Not like it matters to them. They can obviously see I'm catching one. And the bite's kind of slowed down since so I've been fishing this area. I think a lot of what happens is you just kind of, those fish just get accustomed to seeing your stuff. I'm just kind of doing like down and backs over this one section of soft bottom. I think that uh, progressively they just get used to seeing that thing go by kind of over and over. All right, he's giving me some slack, 10 feet. This is where it's getting scary. All right, stay with me. I know this fight's been drawn out and weird. All right, there he is. Oh yeah, another super, super healthy one here. Look at that. Man, is that just an awesome sight right there. I'm fishing with these super long leads. There we go. We got him. He's all ours. That is just a another super super healthy one for up here in this area look at that beautiful fish right there that is just exactly exactly the ones we're after super thick super healthy you know 22 23s like that all day long we'll take them like that see you later buddy back to the depths you go there she goes All right, we are hooked up on another one here. We picked up a hitchhiker, Steve. And uh, to be honest, the bite slowed down a lot. I was getting a lot of fish very quickly. And then it was like all of a sudden, for whatever reason, slowed way down. But we're still kind of doing the same program here. And a lot of days you just see it windowy like this. You know, you get out here in the morning, fish are biting, slows down a little bit, and then kind of gets better as the day goes on. Though he bit really soft, he's getting bigger. And we're actually out just doing a lot more open water right now. We're in 46 feet of water, fishing about 25 down. And there's just wads of fish out here that uh, we're not getting to bite, but it's good to at least see all these fish are out in some of this deeper water. Because when they do start biting, most of the time it's gonna be some really nice fish. He's gonna come up all weird right here. Got a really long lead. Pretty decent one though. Nice fish. There we go. On an inside rod, we kind of went to the planer board program because like I said, we're doing more of that open water right now. And there we go. And that's kind of been about the average today so far. Purple blade, slow death hook. There we go. Catching them over open water, catching them on these deep transitions. Whenever these fish pop and fire, which is probably gonna be, you know, this evening, this afternoon type time frame, um, it should be some really, really good fishing because there's just tons of them out here and we're just going through kind of one of these a little bit slower periods right now. There she goes, back down. All 
All right, well, we're hooked up again here. Just let that first one go, and maybe we're just kind of exiting the slow period right now. And I'll take a screenshot of this wad of fish under us, and this is a lot of what we're seeing, pods of walleyes. You might think that looks like bait fish, but that's actually a pod of walleyes down there about 28 feet over 47 feet. And uh, we're hoping this is kind of the deal. A lot of times the fish you get over base and are some of the nicer fish in the lake. You got the long rod. <laughs> I just stand in you, the could, bow. you could sit in the bow and reel that one in. <laughs> the two man rod. But you know, kind of talking about a lot of these hard to soft bottom transitions. Some of them will happen at 30 feet, other ones you might, you might be in 50 feet of water where that break comes down. And that's all we're doing right now. A lot of the videos you guys have seen us posting are where we're working these transitions um, kind of right where they taper out in 28, 30 feet of water. But you know, a lot of times fish will just sit, they'll sit on that transition, but they're sitting up above it. And that's kind of what we're doing right now. So you technically could run this line across the whole lake and just stay on it. But uh, there's definitely some areas that'll generally hold more fish than other. It looks like a good fish. Yeah, it probably is. It's a little hard to tell on them. I know. Rock. They kind of all feel big on that rod sometimes. Here he comes. And this one we had a one ouncer about uh, about 90 feet back. Making some moves, huh? It's almost like a bass run. Definitely a walleye though. Definitely has some weight to it. My dad's gonna come be the onlooker for this fish catch. I can, I can see the bouncer. It's gotta be a good one, huh? I think so, yeah. He's really running. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They've been angry today. There's some days, for some reasons, they fight harder. And uh, today is one of those days. Is it one of those elusive 27s? He might think he is, for sure. Either that or sometimes you'll... Pull the hooks yeah. All right, I can see him. He's pretty, oh, he's a really fat one. Super fat one. <laughs> Definitely the size we're after right here. You just gotta take your time. Everybody gets so excited trolling, they just wanna scream the fish into him. Yeah, look at that one. That is definitely, that is definitely the size. Look at the, look at the build on that one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you guys a look, but that, Awesome fish. That is a toad for out here. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the look shoulders at, on that thing. Holy cow. Fish. That a good one. <laughs> we'll get them off. I mean, that's about as good as it gets out here. Now look at that. That is just exactly what we're after. That is a tank. I mean, look at the width on that fish in comparison to my hand. Big, fat, golden northern Wisconsin walleyes. Doesn't get much better than that anywhere you go, but super rewarding to get these fish around here. And like we were just saying, out on a lot of these open water transitions, this is where you get a lot of these bigger fish in these systems. Let's let that guy go. That is a stud. Boat as good as it gets right there. We'll deal with some slower fishing as long as they keep all being that big. Well, they're officially biting again. Went through about an hour where who knows why they weren't, but they weren't. And uh, now we're in the fish and catching them again. This is when it's fun, when it's just big fish after big fish after big fish. And a lot of times, like I've said before, this time of year, you can almost have them all to yourselves because nobody's out here doing it. This one's not as big, but it's still a nice fish. On the down rod, inside rod. Probably just bring them up right here. You go from the 11 footer to this rod and it feels all goofy and bizarre. 
Feels like your bluegill fish on this rod. Still nice fish though. Try to pop them up right there, and there we go. Getting them dialed now. There we go. Another nice fish. Yep, can't complain with this average really anywhere you go, and especially in northern Wisconsin. He's already off right there. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, Steve is just, it's crazy how you, fish just make up their own mind. We do not make the rules. I mean, you go an hour doing the same exact thing, same bait, same line length, same spot, nothing. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. You just get a whole bunch of nice fish like that. There we go. Such a fun and effective way to fish too. Yep, Steve caught, one, caught, Steve caught one letting his board out. Here you go, Shelby. It's your day now. It's, oh, it's my day. Shelby's day. That. Every day is Shelby's day when she's with. Well, now Shelby has joined us. Oh, no. No way. Do you have another one? That's a big one. Oh. That's a stud. Hey, Here, I'll give you this. I'll just drive. Go. Man, it's just like that. How crazy is that? They go from... They go from biting to not biting to really biting. These are going to be two studs too, aren't they? That is crazy. So we got we picked up Shelby and we literally started setting out our spread. We got two and a half lines out and two back and two back right away. One was wasn't even fishing yet. One was literally still getting let out when it went off. That is crazy. How's it feel, Shelby? It looks it's going to be a good one. Yeah, for sure going to be a good one. They're biting now. What's up with that? That is bizarre. We literally have been trolling these fish for like an hour or so now. And uh, like I said, it's just been like a night and day difference from biting to not biting now. Timing is everything. Oh no. This just lost it. Well, we lost one of them. Yep. It's all right. It's still pretty good. We got Stella in the boat now too. Oh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a wild time. Oh yeah, it's another really nice one. Man, and we are on the quality today. Look at that one, Shelby. Oh yeah. It's a pretty good one, huh? It's pretty good to get some dog oh, five minutes crap. later. Stella wants some licks. Stella. There we go, they're biting now. Kept the crawler even on that one, huh? Yeah. Oh, one for two is not bad. We've lost one fish so far. And that one is just barely, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh. What do you think? Hold them out. Are you happy? Yeah, my first fish. You brought oh, the magic. Look at that baby. Good work. You want a picture for a thumbnail? Hell yeah, I do. Deity, you got a picture? Let him go. Kind of hold on to him and just keep his head going forward. It's good to go? Good work. Let's do it again. Shelby just told us how to reel in a walleye without losing it. So no now pressure. she just put herself under enormous amounts of pressure. <laughs> Could potentially ridicule her for the rest of the day. Most time I don't have a lot of success running like inside rods like this. I feel like open water trolling, but. In our spread, we got one ounces on the outsides and two ounces right down the middle. So they'd. They don't get in the way with each other. And now it's pretty much when we mark one, we catch one. Which is always how you hope walleye fishing is. And they're all just going to be good ones out here too. What do you think, Stella? Stella, are you excited? She doesn't even know what's going on, does she? There's about to be a fish. I know, it's still a little more reeling. What do you got? Feet out. 20 straight down too. 20 feet back straight down. That's how we like it. It's good. All right, I can see the bouncer. 
fish is right in the glare. I feel like he's just, he must be taking some line, huh? Oh, here he comes. Oh yeah, it's another really nice one. There we go. Pretty good average right there. What do you think, Shelby? Are you happy with it? Are they big oh, enough yeah. for you? They are big enough for me. All right, there you go. There's your fish. Another beauty. Look at that bad boy. That's pretty good. Yep. Nicely done. Let them go nice and easy and we'll bait up and do it again. This pattern's really coming together. When I started this morning, I was fishing up on structure, just on the edges of it. And now we're just out fully over open water. And this quality of fish is unbeatable right now, it seems like, for this lake. Yeah. I'm seriously amazed right now. At what? With the size of the walleyes. Oh. I'm just, lately, I'm so used to dinks in Hayward. Mm -hmm. I went out with uh This is much Mitch. better than the first half mile when I got in the boat. Oh, okay. we went like 45 minutes about a bite. Like doing the same thing we're doing now. Yeah, your but dad said he caught Outside board. There it is. Steve, you get it this time. No, no. I'm not going to get every single yeah, one. Yeah. You're 100%. You're two for two, Shelby. Just keep reeling them in. Oh, oh we are oh, still... Man. Yeah. Where is this line going? Uh, we might have one on this inside board. Yeah, that's bottom. Shouldn't be... I might have cut this weird. Yeah, we just got massive entanglement here with the net. Might have just have to do a quick cut here. Let's do that. I'll get the board. We'll figure it out after. <laughs> uh, open water trolling pandemonium right here. And the fish keep coming with no time in between. Is he still on, Shelby? Yeah. yeah. Stella, you're going to get to see a lot of walleyes today. Maybe not quite as big, but he's still straight he's down. Keep him coming. He's still staying pretty down though. Another nice one. Not quite as big. Try to swing him over here, Shelby. He's hurting our he's hurting our average a little bit, but that's fine. Still a pretty nice one overall. It is fish after fish after fish right now. We probably could have just rolled this live. We got three rods out of the water, and I think that one that you thought had one, I think it did have yeah. one because it was riding back for a second. And this is when it gets fun, when it's just fish, fish after, after fish, fish after fish. And like we keep talking about in the boat when the camera's out, it's all timing. I mean, we literally did this pass for an hour and we just weren't catching fish. And now, uh, now it's just constant fish. Same baits, same spot, same everything. It's just timing. Was it this windy? Like I always tell Shelby, it's not me, it's you. Really? <laughs> what <did> you say? <laughs> Left and right, folks. All right, we're hooked up. We're trying to mix in some crankbaits and it's not really working. So on one side of the boat, we got all crankbaits. The other side of the boat, we got still spinners on and lo and behold, that one came on a spinner. How far back, 100 and something? Yeah, 100. But it is another fish and I'll throw up a screenshot right here. That, this screenshot right here is what you're looking for. Anytime you're seeing stuff like that is, uh, 
you are around the right fish. And you can see all of our fish today are just pressed down right in that 25 to 30 foot, just super clean, which anytime you get fish, it's just like trolling structure. Anytime those fish clump up at one depth range, it's generally a good trolling bite. And uh, that is definitely the case right now. 30. 30 back, huh? Hell yeah, you excited? You excited to see a walleye? All right, here we go. Fighting? A little bit. It's down there a ways. Yeah. All right, I can see the weight. Here comes the fish. There we go. Another nice walleye on the spinner. And we're actually going through another one of these clusters of fish right now. I'll go ahead and take a shot of this kind of once they reach the middle of the screen. And fish in open water, it's a lot of these big single marks, big double marks, sometimes like three marks like this. And that is exactly what we're after. No words, huh? That's all right. All right, another fish on. There's just no way this is gonna fly, is it? I can flatline it just off the back on this side if you want. Yeah, we might just wanna just, bring just it do that for now. No. Got him? Yeah. Nice. All right, well, we're gonna see how big it is now. Maybe it's not so big. Felt big because we were going fast. Yeah. It's still a long ways out though. Yeah, it is. How much line you got? 90. Getting a little feisty. All right, here he comes. I can see him. He's a nice one. He's not super big. Keep him coming. Keep his head down. Real. Do some reeling, Shelby. There we go. We got him. Another nice walleye. Well, it appears it's a spinner bite, which is fine. We'll keep catching them on spinners. Shelby's a, oh, look at that thing. It just got yeah. real heavy. You see that? Yeah. That one just got big, quick. And this might be the last one of the day, unless we double up while we're catching this one. But it has been a phenomenal outing. And if we can boat this one and it's another 22 to 26 incher, I will be happy, happy. does look big yeah. and you're like hardly like oh good all right here he comes we're sitting in 41 feet right now fishing about 27 down watch out Stella I gotta net the fish back here but we definitely got the right variety on here oh I can see him down there we got another line, but that's all right. Keep him coming. Another soup. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> we got him though. Right there, we're just gonna go ahead and fix these real quick. There we go. There we go. Last walleye of a phenomenal day out here. Look at that guy. Just every single one, super, super high quality fish especially for Northern Wisconsin. Oh, and look at that, nice and angry. Back down he goes. What a day of open water trolling. Actually, we kind of mixed it up, did a little bit of both. And uh, we're gonna pick some stuff up, get back to the ramp, and I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough on what we did today.
Wow, that was a day. It took me a while to edit this video and it's not like most Tom Voli videos where it's like, you know, a few fish catches, like to keep it short, like to keep it sweet, do some information in the mix. Um, the, the pattern's kind of been the same. If you guys wanna see exactly what we're doing, baits wise, structure wise, um, you can check out some of the previous videos I've kind of posted in the last week or so here on my channel, but um, phenomenal bite. This is just one of those days where we just kind of went out and fished, had a good time. It was me, Shelby and Steve all day. And uh, we probably fished for, I mean, not a long time, you know, four, four and a half hours, probably somewhere in there is the length of time we fished for. And uh, they were just on and we just kept getting into more and more and more fish. And uh, like I said, we kind of started out the day when I was solo, I was pulling deep transitions on structure and like 27, 28 feet of water. And uh, as the day went on, I just kind of bumped out into the basin and there was a ton of fish suspended at that same height out over the basin. And uh, we just pounded those fish and uh, super fun day. And this is kind of one of those um, days where it just, the whole thing came together. And I figured we'd just kind of film one of these type of videos because those days don't happen every day, um, especially in Northern Wisconsin. You know, you go to some of these better, bigger locations, whether that's a big lake in Minnesota or a great lake. And yeah, you, it's a lot higher likelihood you see fishing like that. But in Northern Wisconsin and our small pothole lakes, um, you don't see it like that as often as you used to. And that is for sure. But um, super fun day, obviously just caught a pile of quality fish. That open water bite is something where when, when you get on those fish, you know, when they're suspended up over deep water out in the middle of the lake, um, they're generally a much larger size of fish than you catch on structure. And uh, like I said, most of the days you see a really good bite doing that is, is windy and uh, sunny. And most of the time the best bites in the middle of the day or in the afternoon. So and that was just absolutely the case that day. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you guys, like I said, kind of in the intro, um, buying some apparel and supporting this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, hopefully, like I said, I repay the favor to you guys by giving you guys some good walleye fishing information or maybe just possibly some entertainment. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. Um, it's kind of been a lack week, a lacking week on my end of making videos. We just had a whole bunch of stuff going on. But after this one gets up and on the YouTube, I'm going to get in the truck and go film a bunch more videos. So I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.